Tel Aviv University. Uh, I want to still two minutes giving a general background uh, about one point, the socio-political background to the situation of Jews and minorities during the war <coughs> in the Arab countries. In the 1920s, the leading groups in Arab countries were land-owning elite. Uh, they were parliamentarian, they cooperated with the British and the French economically, and they didn't care about urban economy because they were about agriculture. Uh, so minorities had their way in a in urban economy, uh, Jews were flourishing. Say in Iraq, 25% uh, of uh, Baghdad was Jewish, 75, controlling 75% of the financial economy. In uh, Egypt, it was nearly the same. Jewish population swelling to 60,000, and so on. Then after the, 1930, the crisis of the 1930s, the educated middle class came to the fore politically, inspired also by, by things happening uh, in Europe. Now they were after conquering the urban economy. They needed the jobs. They wanted uh, to be the commercial and the professional circles of the towns. And therefore they this is what's just one of the points. They, they were after defining minorities and especially the Jews as beyond, outside the self-definition. And they emphasized the Islamic and Arab definition of the Arab self, excluding uh, uh, the Jews. During the Second World War, there was a repetition of this cycle. Uh, until late 1942, when still there was the chance that uh, Germany and the Italians will conquer the region, the more anti-Jewish winds were blowing strongly in this region. After El Alamein, uh, the British reinstalled the elite, Nouri Said in Iraq, uh, the waft back in, uh, uh, in Egypt, the British of course wiped out the Vichy government in the uh, Syria and Lebanon prior to that in June 41. Uh, so uh, until after the war, there was some relaxation about that, but as soon as the war ended, of course, the issue of Palestine uh, casted a, a big shadow and the Jewish communities of uh, the region uh, were about to be uh, finished during the 1950s when the urban elite, in uniforms or not, uh, came to power. Just wanted to emphasize this one dimension, and now uh, we come to our panel. We have four speakers, uh, and the first one is uh, Denisa Nestakova. Uh, she is a PhD candidate in general history at the Faculty of Arts at Comenius University in Bratislava where her research is focused on Arab-Jewish relations during the British Mandate in Palestine. And she will talk under the title, The Image of the Jews on the Pages of Diverted Attempts in Mandatory Palestine. Denisa, please. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor for me to be today here on the international conference focused on the Jews of the Middle East and shadow of the Holocaust. Better? My talk today will deal with the topic, the image of the Jews on pages of Divata des Tempus in Mandatory Palestine. Today's topic is part of my PhD research based on the Arab-Jewish relations during the British Mandate for Palestine through the experience of the German settlers. 
as I am investigating the pictures of relations between Jews and Arabs through the experience of the Protestant sect called Temple Society, settled in mandatory Palestine, I have been also dealing with the main journal of this society called the Vata de Templis and the rep representation of Jews in this journal. Thus, I would like to invite you to my today's talk. So, I'm going to briefly speak about the Temple Society, the National Socialist Ideology in the Mandatory Palestine, and the Vata de Templis, the journal, and the forms of anti-Semitism, which I will conclude in the representation of Jews on the pages of the Vata de Templis. So, first, let me briefly look at the uh, German settlers in Palestine. So-called Palestinian Germans refer to all German settlers uh, settled uh, in Palestine, the region of British Mandate for Palestine, excluding Transjordan. While there were some German Catholics represented mainly by priests and members of different orders and some other Christian groups, the biggest group of Germans was Temple Society. The Temple Society was founded uh, in southwest Germany around Württemberg by Christoph Hoffmann in 1861. Here, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. So, um, back to the topic. Uh, it was and uh, the German settlers, uh, the the uh, Temple Society is a group and still is the group and was a religious group which came from Protestantism. By 1868, the German Templars had approximately 3,000 members, and in this time, the first Templars came to Palestine and established settlement in Haifa, Bethlehem of Galilee, Waldheim, Sahona Jaffa, Wilhelma, and Jerusalem. By 1875, approximately 750 Templars in Pal were in Palestine, and in 1839, this society consisted of 1,290 Templars. The Templar society belonged to approximately 30 million Germans of those or, uh, or Germans of German descent, so-called Volksdeutsche, the term which was created by Hitler and his followers, which carried also racial implications. The National Socialists also introduced the term Auslanddeutsche, which generally referred to German citizens residing abroad. This became, quoting Donald McHale, Germany's mission to unify the 30 million Germans outside, outside the Reich into a worldwide German Volksgemeinschaft. It was a racial and national community. As soon as NSDAP started to gain some power, some Germans in Palestine observed it or supported it. Karl Ruf, uh, the German architect and member of the Temple Society already in 1932 became a member of NSDAP. And the same year he registered at Ausland Abteilung, the foreign office, six members of NSDAP from mandatory Palestine. By 1933, there were 140 members of NSDAP gathered in so-called Ortsgruppen, local branches of NSDAP, for example in Haifa or Java. By 1938, 17% of the Templars in Palestine were members of the NSDAP. The membership in NSDAP did not mean for all its members in Palestine the automatic racial anti-Semitism. The party offered for them rather the psychological comfort of being uh, able to identify with a new uh, movement and a strong fatherland. However, already at that time, it should have been clear to Templars that the community of National Socialism, which established hate against so-called Jewish race, which was inferior to them, as an essential part of their politics, had nothing to do with the community of people in Christian sense. 
Unfortunately, this was only apparent to a small minority. The majority of Templars fell under the spell of patriotic euphoria of National Socialist regime. Between 1921 and 1939, the main media of the Temple Society was the journal De Warte of Templars. The Templars. De Warte had two issues per month, and every issue had approximately eight pages. Since Dietrich Lange, uh, uh, who was enthusiastic about National Socialism, became an editor of the journal, uh, the transformation of this journal led, uh, led to kind of a National Socialist information and propaganda paper. Obviously, the journal was dedicated uh, mainly to the religious issues. It has also its space for advertising. Issues related to current situation in Palestine were discuss discussed on a usual section called uh, Palestinische Zeitgeschichte, Palestinian Contemporary History, or from Palestinische uh, Deutschtum, from Palestinian Germanhood or the uh, short section called Kurze Nachrichten, short news, presented local and international news. Even though the journal had very limited space, as I mentioned, approximately eight pages, it did dedicate a normal space to national socialism presented by ideological writings, speeches of uh, national socialist leaders, racial theories and antisemitism. The picture of Jews and Jewish community on the pages of the Vade, Vate is represented not only but also and very often through antisemitism. Antisemitism was present within the German uh, within the uh, society of German Templars in mandatory Palestine, but its forms were changed under the influence of the national socialist ideology. If we can simplify and divide forms of antisemitism into four main forms, we will speak about economic, political, religious, and national antisemitism. In this uh, case, national is more or less equal to racial. Most of these forms of antisemitism were usually linked, and often, for example, anti Judaism is also part of national or economical antisemitism. Very typical feature of antisemitism related to economy was less present among Templars. However, they also use typical simple antisemitism, which should create a picture of wealthy, greedy Jews, as I wrote there. Uh, it was written and quoted from January 1937, Jews say, money is my glory. More often present form of antisemitism was a political, which was quite wi widespread also in Germany, and it was related to loss in World War sec First. The role, quoting, the role of the Jewry in world war has become gradually known, especially that role they played during the drafting of the Versailles dictate. The Jews were able to gain power position within the hosting nation, quoted from July 1937. But Jews were also uh, considered as uh, allies of Bolsheviks and enemies of Germany thanks to statesmen according, um, according which authors said that Jews were dealing with the question, what is better principle, Moses or Lenin, January 1933. And often they use the term Jewish marasmus, for example in January 1937, in terms of Jewish political and spiritual decay, as mentioned in a quote. The Jewish ag agency as a Jewish marasmic socialist organization fight against the uh, Hitler regime in Germany. This quote is from September 1933. The political anti-Semitism is mostly transferred from Germany. However, there are some examples of it in relations to Palestine. Political situation is usually pictured relatively objectively. However, the rising number of Jews immigrating from European countries was seen as a threat and therefore the fight between Arabs and Jews are described sometimes differently. So Arabs are sometimes described as a partisans, while Jews as terrorists. And meanwhile, the revisionist movement of Jabotinsky is viewed as a Jewish fascism. Quoting, the Jewish people and Jewish capital in Palestine have risen massively in the last two years. At the same time, the Jewish racial consciousness has strengthened and led thousands and thousands towards the ranks of the fanatic Jabotinsky, 
who leads Jewish fascist, September 1934. But because the Templars were con connected with the Christianity and believe that the church should defend and bring Christian principles to public and private life, the religious anti-Semitism or anti-Judaism in combination with national or racial anti-Semitism was the most often used form, uh, which pictured uh, the German as a good Christian or Templars on the one side, and on the other side, the hostile side, stand the Jew. Religious anti-Semitism always presented Jews as immoral or morally inferior or demoralizing element. Quoting from August 1939, the Jews have demoralizing influence mainly towards internal structure of our national community, which undermining our survival. Meanwhile, they were using a term sexual, uh, Jewish sexual Bolshevism, whatever it means. The typical anti-Judaism is presented by the stereotype of crucifixion of Jesus, denying of Messiah, and following hostility towards followers of Jesus. Quoting from February 1937, the Jews who spit at his face and put a crown of thrones on the head and nailed to the cross. Religious antisemitism in the form of confessional anti-Judaism was present already in the Middle Ages and was also popular and rooted in the society of the Templars, because it was first of all a religious a group. Therefore, no Christian factor of Jews was the powerful tool of antisemitic propaganda. Thus, the other forms of antisemitism were often in t uh, con uh, combined or joined uh, and uh, religious argumentation was used. The argumentation against anything Jewish in religious terms went as far as denying the Old Testament. Quoting from 1936, it is a Jewish book, a Jewish religious document, and it has nothing to say to German Nordic ascents. It has nothing common with us, so away with it. However, the main issue or problem relating to uh, Christianity and Jesus for the Templars and National Socialist ideology remained. Jesus was a Jew. Therefore, they were trying hard to convince German set, uh, Templars that even though Jesus was a Jew, he was different. With this argumentation, the traditional confessional anti-Judaism was transformed into racial anti-Semitism. The original arguments explaining origins of Jesus were related to him being different. So, quoting, Jesus stood against Judaism, which led him to the cross. But some arguments went even further, claiming that Jews, Jesus was not Jewish, that G, uh, the Jews had never had Galilee for themselves. It was never fully Jewish. While the strongest on main argument from Houston Chamberlain um, went even further, claiming that uh, because Galilee was never fully Jewish, Jesus was Aryan. This was quote from October 1934. To conclude, I would like to emphasize that this picture of the Jews and the Jewish community of Mandatory Palestine is based only on this journal. There are other testimonies, documents and material which are supporting this picture or being in a total opposition. However, what we can see from this particular material is picture of Jews who were seen as religious, national or racial and political enemies. The Jews were part of the world Jewry plotting with wealthy Americans and British, but also Bolsheviks or Jewish fascists. Jews were perceived as immoral uh, or with dead hearts. Occasionally were said to be a danger to German community. The strongest picture used in anti-Semitic propaganda is based on combination of old confessional anti-Judaism with the modern racial anti-Semitism. Therefore, it was based uh, on the combination of the National Socialist right uh, uh, racial ideology directly from Germany and the religious difference or hostility owned to the Templars. However, the images of Jews and Jewish community are not re represented exclusively through anti-Semitic propaganda. Jewish settlers continue to, uh, their efforts to entertain good relationship with the Jewish population to whom they own part of their prosperity and with whom they were in a close economic contact. Templars also wrote about the improvements 
for example, in infrastructure, transportation, libraries, university, and other improvements which were brought to the country by Jews. There was an article standing up against the denying of Old Testament. There were reactions with tendency to empathy towards difficult life of new German, uh, J Jewish immigrants. Nevertheless, only a few Germans spoke up on the pages of the journal positively about the Jewish community or Jews in general. I created one graph which shows the, the number of the anti-Semitic um, uh, demonstration on the pages. We can see that it was very strong during 1933, so as the uh, Nazis came to power, and 1935 when the um, Nuremberg laws were presented, so they needed to somehow support it. And even though anti-Semitism was central component of the Nas National Socialist I ideology, it was not the essential component of the Templars. But we can still see that the picture of the Jews and the Jewish community on the pages of the Vata des Templars is a quite negative and influenced by the National Socialist propaganda. An anti-Semitic picture based on National Socialist ideology related to condition of Germany and also the German Templars in Palestine. We can see that um, the condition of the Templar society with combination of the National Socialist ideology and the old usual forms of anti-Semitism were kind of conclude uh, on the pages of the journal and created the image of the Jews. What was striking and also is striking for our current society is how fast the Templar society adapted the National Socialist ideology and translated it into its own anti-Semitic vocabulary. While only 17 of the Templar, 17 percent of the Templars were member of NSDAP, their main journal became a tool of a national socialist anti-Semitic propaganda, and the whole community accepted, without major opposition, the horrible picture of the Jews, who could be often their neighbors or the business partners or even friends. Thank you very much for your attention.